Hello everyone, this is Ali from 241 Coding and in this video I will be showing you how to create a dual color background as you can see on your screen. So all this is is a background that consists of two or more colors and we'll also be going over gradients. So now that we know what we're going to be coding, let's start. So inside of our HTML, we'll just go ahead and add exclamation tab and change the title of this document to dual color background css so we actually don't have to use html here i'm just going to be using a quick header to show you that you can put text on top of it so we'll just change this also to dual color background css now if we just save that and open it with the live server we can see we have dual color background and CSS. So now we can actually move on to the CSS after we link them. So link rel and style.css. Okay. So in our style.css, we first want to remove the default margin and padding. So we're going to select that, do margin zero, and also set the padding to zero. Now we can go over to our body, which is where we'll be adding the dual colors. So we'll first set the height of 100 viewport heights, which is the full height of our page that we have. Then let's set the background to linear gradient and let's do two top. And make sure you put the comma there. Let's use the color light green first and we'll start it at zero percent and put a comma and again like green because we want to end it at 50 percent then we want to use another color so let's do light blue let's start it at 50 percent and this time we'll end it at 100 percent so light blue 100 percent now if we save it we see our two colors now if we want it left to right we can change to top to two left if you want to flip those two colors just do two, two right and we can also add more gradient style patterns so if we change this to something like yellow and change this one to something like red we can see that we have more of a gradient style pattern and if you want, you can add in between 0 and 51, in between 50 and 100. You can add as many colors as you want. So you don't have to do this part. I'm just going to be styling the heading to center it. So H1, I'll display it as flex. I am also going to align items center, justify content center, width of 100%. Height of 100% and change the font size. So we'll make the font size 50 pixels and let's we'll just go ahead and change the font family to this. So you can make it whatever you want. So now you can see that we have it center, change font family, size, etc. So that's actually all there is to it. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.